want to walk through the process of creating a page in IBM Digital Experience. What we're going to do is create a page, create a page layout, associate WebSphere Commerce and IBM Interact content to the page. If you look on the upper left, you see the uh, Digital Experience project that we're working within. So this is a central container that handles all of the workflow and approval, change management and change control process of adding new elements to digital experience. We start by going into the site manager and creating a child page. And we'll call the page Aurora Furniture. We have a series of templates to choose from. We're gonna select digital landing and create the page. Once the page is created, you notice it has draft page on the left and the right hand side and the page is surrounded in parentheses. So that lets you know that it hasn't been committed to a production environment yet. But we notice that the page st style is in blue right now, which is ununiform to the orange of the site. So we're gonna open up page settings and change the page style to orange. You notice the feedback form is now orange. And then we're gonna go into layout and currently the page layout is set to one full width column. We're gonna se select a customizable layout. What this allows us to do is create a page layout on the fly. And it's right now it's stating that there's a series of portlets that were already added to the page. Do we want to re-add them to the page or do we wanna remove them? We're gonna to choose to remove them for the sake of demonstration purposes. Now I can collapse the site manager and we have the page. So let's create our page layout. We click on edit in our custom page layout. Our initial row is gonna be devoted to a, a hero page banner. The second row will contain two columns. One for a commerce spot, the other for a IBM Interact um, spot. And the third row will contain feature products coming from the actual commerce uh, product catalog. So now that we've done that, we've created our page layout, let's add content to the page. So right now we're browsing our Wickham library, which is our web content management library. It's a taxonomy that stores all of your content. So we're gonna add the landing banner Wickham content to the page. And you notice there's a series of default content on the page. So what I'm going to do here is add an image that I already have saved to my desktop. Okay. And I'm also going to go into the headlines and add some content, some text that I have from my demo notes. So we're going to choose to delete the subheading and we can link it to an actual external website. The nice part about this is that the text and the actual image content isn't stitched together, rather it's overlays. Okay, now that you've seen that, we're gonna save and close here. And notice you see the actual image banner and you see the scrolling text, shop the Aurora living room sale. Save 20% off new arrivals. If we click the more info, we'll be redirected to our actual commerce environment. But now let's add some more content onto the page. So now, I will go into my page components, WebSphere Commerce, 
folder of the Wickham Library, and out of the box we have these 17 uh, DDC components that we offer with Digital Experience. So we're going to select Marketing. And the Marketing uh, DDC components job is to surface a WebSphere Commerce eSpot. Because our server name and catalog ID is already configured, all we have to do is provide this marketing spot with our actual eSpot name. Upon turning off edit mode, a page refresh will be done, and then it will show the actual eSpot. So now, I'm going to collapse my uh, site manager, and I'm going to add an actual um, featured products. Carousel. To the page and I have to configure the actual category ID of the products that I want to display because this is furniture specific I'm going to add the furniture category so at this point you see that I have a scrolling uh, e-spot so to say that's displaying all my furniture and I can also edit this form and change the look and feel that's independent of the content being uh, that's coming in. So the final thing to do is to add the actual portlet that allows us to receive data from Interact. So I have a predefined uh, portlet that I created called the Aurora Interact Spot. And I'm going to come and place right here. So the only configuration necessary for that particular portlet is to change the interaction point from interact to IP1. That's our predefined interaction point that we've created. And now if I turn off edit mode, I can see what the page will look like. I have the living room sale. I have, because I'm logged on as Virch user, I have a very specific promotion coming to me from Interact. And then I see the actual uh, products coming from the actual category that I specified. So you saw it in a few short minutes, you can onboard several different integrations coming from the Com Commerce Portfolio products and create a page.